When I grew up, uh, I wanted to be a ballerina. I was really into dance as a kid. Um, I never, ever would have thought I would have ended up working in tech. A film director or an astronaut. I'd always been a kid with a camera. Lighting, cinematography, sound design. Harnessing all these technical things to produce an artistic product. That fits very naturally into this role. The business side along with the technical side is pretty paramount. To be a successful essay, you need to be able to understand really, really big picture concepts about where customers want to go and you have to help them come up with a plan to get them there. Verticals are different. Few are in manufacturing to IT or digital advertising to say labor market. So it's completely different space for each customer. A solutions architect gets to work with all the teams and is responsible for you know knowledge across all the products and services we have. There's a little bit of like account management, there's a little bit of business development. So if you're interested in a lot of things, solutions architecture is absolutely a place to go. I think it starts and really revolves around the customer. So if customer obsession is something that you bring to the table, it's really one of the superpowers that our solution architects bring to our customers. The customer piece is always a huge part of any solution architect's day. But then there's what I like to think of as the scaling piece. I mean, we get to build uh, and design architectures for our customers for some of the you know, hardest problems in technology right now. If you like to, to learn new things, uh, be exposed to cutting edge, bleeding edge, and with very, very established products, uh, this is, it's a, it's a candy store. We are really moving the needle on changing the way businesses operate. If you look at other companies, they always try to sell you stuff, but AWS, we try to save you money and you know, make you optimize and run the best possible architecture on AWS. These technologies now, we're releasing them uh, for everyone to be able to use, uh, for you know, all businesses to have the same footing and the same access. Just think about helping a customer go from 0% in the cloud to well over 90% and moving them to an environment where they just need to think about their business and really allow Amazon to kind of provide the infrastructure for them. For me, it's groundbreaking. <laughs> Having done that for the past few years uh, has been really key. It's really exciting because you know you get to see a diverse set of people uh, working on very different things and you know each of them have the power to influence customers uh, roadmaps. The biggest surprise for me is being a solutions architect like the first time I went on site with a customer was how much our customers really love AWS. It's really cool to walk on site with a customer and you know have a room full of 10 people and they're all huge fans of what we're doing and they're excited to hear about what's coming next and what they can do on top of AWS. Uh, that's a pretty special role. 